Vixana Bale staged a real attack on the show Champions Are Nice in social networks. The Olympic champion did not like the name. The Terry Tutbirds' show Champions on Ice once again pleases with tours of cities in Russia and neighboring countries. Fans are looking forward to meeting their favorite figure skaters and looking forward to the celebration of sports and art. However, not everyone is excited about this event. Last year, Oksana Bale, the winner of the Olympic Games in Lillehammer, criticized him to the nines. The Ukrainian champion found signs of plagiarism in the brainchild of Ateri Georgievna and did not fail to devote a separate post to this in social networks. What did not suit Bale in Tutbridge's show, and is there at least a shred of common sense in her claims? As is often the case with any successful project, positive reviews about it are accompanied by criticism in parallel. It is good when it is constructive and helps to develop. It's another thing when they cling to literally the little things and try to examine invisible flaws under a magnifying glass. However, Oksana Bale didn't need a magnifying glass to blow a molehill out of a molehill. The object of her indignation, she chose the name of the Tutbirds show, Champions Are Nice, which, translated into English, coincides with the name of another famous show Champions Are Nice, which existed in the USA for many years. According to Bale, Tutbirds deliberately used a well-known and long-established brand instead of coming up with something new. At the same time, she failed to surpass the founder of Champions Are Nice, Tom Collins. Supposedly, Champions Are Nice is just a semblance of a legendary tour with real figure skating stars. These kids don't even know what Champions Are Nice is and who created this brand. Tom Collins, your tour was multifaceted, with skaters from all over the world. We will always remember, Bale wrote on her social networks. Champions Are Nice was really a large-scale and high-quality show, which since 1969 gathered the winners and prize winners of the world championships, as well as figure skaters with the most vivid programs, on a tour of the cities of the USA. In 2007, it merged with another project Stars Are Nice. At one time, Bale also performed in it and, apparently, now considers it her duty to protect the honor and dignity of this project. Commentators quickly came to Tutbirds's defense, who caught Bale herself an envy of Russian figure skaters who are able to give odds to any champions of the past today. But Oksana was not at a loss and responded with a provocation, yes, yes, cooler, I see. Zajatova, well done? Or is it all written off, naturally? she did not mention that Alina had a full set of gold medals. What for? After all, against a background of Alina's sporting achievements, her successes will automatically lose. Bale ended the discussion with users in openly accusing the Russian show of plagiarism. I am proud that you are ripping everything off from America. Plagiarism. This story seems ridiculous and ridiculous, but it is very difficult to ignore such attacks. The undeserved accusations of the best singles coach and her skaters caused a reaction from other skaters. Alexei Yagudin spoke out especially vividly then, clearly noting that the discontent of the bail is an ordinary stupidity. All shows with the participation of figure skaters have something in common, ice, skates and figure skaters. Bale's words about plagiarism? Yes, plagiarism of dresses, nails, hair, I don't even want to raise this nonsense, Yagudin said. In Russian, the names of both shows really look the same, but translation in such cases is usually not done. The brand exists under the name in the original language. However, it is possible that a Terry Tutbirds was really inspired by the famous Collins show when she created her own. After all, for several years of living in the USA as a figure skater and then as a coach, she was probably aware of the existence of Champions Are Nice. But there is no crime in the fact that she titled her own show Champions Are Nice. Firstly, because, as already mentioned, it is in Russian, not in English. And secondly, are champions right in it, fully justifying such a name? Every year the championship list is updated. There are three Olympic champions in it now, Alina Zajatova, Anna Shcherbakova, Kamila Voliva, and there are also world, European, and Russian champions, grand pre-final winners and medalists of the main starts. They all go out on the ice, so Champions Are Nice is the most obvious name for Tutbirds' show.
Later Oksana Bale explained that she would have no complaints against Tutbirds if she called her show, for example, Champions instead of Champions are nice. Then the names of the Russian and American projects would be different, although the concept would remain similar. The similarity is not only in the participants' winners of major starts, but also in the format of their performances with demonstration programs. And the only thing that Tutbirds failed to borrow from Champions Are Nice is the song for the final release of the athletes of the Queen group We Are the Champions. In Russia, Champions Are Nice is absolutely similar to the Tom Collins show. But when we performed in America with this show, there was always a Queen song at the end, we are the champions. But since the rights to this song are expensive, it was not taken. But this is my opinion. Because in America, if you use something in your repertoire, in costumes, then you always have to ask permission here. If in Russia the tour was not called Champions Are Nice, but, let's say, Champions, no one would have heard a word from me," Bale said live with Marichka Padalko. Probably, no matter what a Terry Tutbirds called her ice show, there would still be dissatisfied. You can reproach anyone with anything and anyone. The main thing is desire. Such a large-scale show is certainly an object of both envy and admiration. And Bale herself, apparently, at the time of the loud statements, was experiencing some kind of personal crisis or nostalgia for her performances on tour with Tom Collins. So I couldn't stand it, looking at the Tutbirds girls, who not only take all the medals at competitions, but also gather crowds at the ice arenas. And this is at a very young age. Oksana Bale can only dream about such popularity now. And to remind you that she too, was once a champion and a welcome guest in ice shows.